YouTube content creator. I am a senior eternal voice. Go back to business. Okay, so I'm very, very enjoyed listening to my own voice of my recorded songs. But too much for that. We'll go back to business. Talking about chemistry, I did a gas roll specials. Why I call the specials? Because these are not usually discussed properly because it's in the introductory part of the lesson. Meaning to say, it's just uh, more on theoretical, but it can also be applied in problem solving, but not all the time. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. Okay, so, but it could not be denied. Sometimes also it will come out in the examinations. Okay, to prepare only what's gonna be happening because expect the unexpected, something like this always. Okay, so you have to be equipped with various styles or methods in solving the problems, especially in uh, science. Okay, calculate the velocity and summation of the right? Okay, try. Okay, so calculate the velocity of an ammonia. What's this? Passing, passing on the paparo. Okay. Guys, wait for a while, two minutes, give me two minutes, I will rewrite. Okay, like this. Okay, okay. This is, these are the questions. Questions one and two. Okay, start with question number one. Calculate the velocity of an ammonia passing on the pipeline at STP. Oh my gosh. So this is the kind of problem that I, I told you a while ago that there is no given. But this is also a problem solving. You will be shocked. There's no data, right? There's no numbers. Okay? And then how can you solve this? All are words and statements. So this is an exemption to a lot of problem solving because at least there must be one data or numerical data. But here there's no data, right? Calculate the velocity of an ammonia passing on the pipeline at STP. Imagine you will complete the velocity without any uh, distance covered like that. Okay, how could it happen? There's no, okay, there's no speed. Oh, speed. The speed is being asked, of course. <laughs> there's no time, right? Because speed, okay, speed is anomasha, time. Okay, distance over time, diba? It's a matter per second. So the requirements are distance and time. And there's no time here, and there's no distance here also, right? So again, and okay, then going back to the paper. Number two, calculate the kinetic energy of ammonia based on number one. Okay, something like that. So if we have already the velocity from one, and then we can compute for the kinetic energy. Something like that. Okay, but there's no given again, see? Okay, there's no data, there's no numerical figure. So this is tricky, but the theory will work for this. Okay, theory. Okay, when we speak of STP, guys, in the theory, what will we say about all gases under STP? So normally, they will all behave an ideal gas. Okay? They will all behave as an ideal gas if we mean about STP. If there's no word STP, then they will not behave as an ideal gas. Or either it could be mentioned here. If you will remove the STP, at least in the problem, it will say, calculate the velocity of an ideal ammonia passing on a pipeline. So even though you will not put STP already, but the word ideal would mean at STP. So things like this are what we call technique. Something like that, because sometimes this STP and ideality will not be mentioned in the problem, either only one. And then, if the ideal word and the STP letters are not mentioned, then you cannot have that equation of an ideal gas equation. That's the technique. So, you can never solve. You need at least one data to solve that. But, if it has I, either the term ideal, and or STP, then it will work. Okay, so follow the kinetic molecular theory of gases. Okay, KMT, kinetic molecular theory of gases in ideal gas. Okay, that's a technique. Huh? Okay, now, one number one. So, in this manner, guys, we have a standard formula for this. Take note, take note, take note, mga palanga. You can never solve this using dimensional analysis conversion problem solving. Really. You cannot solve this. 
because the formula will be used here is already driven by a lot of what we call one derivation of various uh, chemistry formulas and then combine together and then so that we can come up with the most simplified formula to be used. So meaning to say this is not like other problems that can be used in a conversion way or you know dimensional analysis by using the basis of calculation. It should not be like that. There's a standard specific formula to be used. You get the point? Okay. So what is being asked is the velocity. Okay. So actually this is a vector quantity. Okay. Maybe this is a magnitude plus the direction, something like that. But this isn't really the concern here, as long as you will compute the velocity. Okay? Because normally the velocity will go forward. There's no such thing that it will go backward. <laughs> right? You got the point. And it's impossible also that the ammonia will go up. Okay? Like that. So it's already a fool if OOL that ammonia will go up unless the pipeline is well, uh, vertical. This is possible, right? There's a gravity already. So if there's a gravity already, then it will not be applied. You get the point? So this, the application for this is more on the horizontal distances with motion in it. It could be left to right as long as horizontal movement or motion. Okay, upward and downward is not applicable for this because there's a gravity issue. You get the point? So it will be no longer applied. So understood that the direction will be forward. Okay? In this velocity that we are asking here, because this is a vector quantity, have a magnitude plus the direction. Okay? And yet, or else it will become speed only. Calculate the speed of ammonia, but the problem is asking for the velocity. Okay? Like that. So vector quantity. Okay. Now going back. So calculate the velocity of an ammonia passing on the pipeline at STP. The first thing to do is we need to discover what is this acronym, capital S, capital T, capital P. So this means, solution proper na tayo, let's look at the board. Okay, attention please. Okay, in the whiteboard, mga palangka. Okay, solution proper. Okay, capital S, capital T, capital P means standard, okay, temperature and pressure, okay, like that. And then we already memorized a long, long time ago, okay, if you already memorized, good, but if you don't memorize yet, so just listen for a while, okay, like this, temperature, ah, zero degrees Celsius equivalent to the frozen point of water okay like that and then the pressure is one atmosphere something like that take note at stp is always 80 and atmosphere it is not bar mmhg pound per square inch like that tor like that and other units of measurements of pressure. It is highly applicable exclusively to atmosphere. Okay? Either the question needs you to convert that as long as you will use that originally as an atmosphere. Okay? That will be a backup supporting questions now. If you try or if you want them you to convert. Okay? But what I mean? Always use the ATM, the atmosphere, in your computation and in your calculation, or else it will become wrong if you try to convert that to other units. Mm. That we agree, ATM always, okay? Just like that STP is always zero degrees of shift, then equivalent to Kelvin, 273 Kelvin. Because if you multiply zero to a numerical figure, it will become zero, so common sense. So we'll use the 273.15 Kelvin, para it's not zero. You get the point. That's why in an ideal gas equation, the capital T there is Kelvin, not degree Celsius. Even if you know that the standard temperature of an ideal gas is zero degree Celsius. Because if you multiply any quantity or numerical figure to zero, it will become zero. Right? So that's why it is a Kelvin. That is the main reason behind it for that capital T in ideal gas equation. 
Okay, now going back to here. So in here, we will not apply the PV in RT for the main reason is it doesn't have so many data like volume, blah, 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 so and so, number of moles, like that, pressure. It's not mentioned here. So you will go to the most simplified problem in, a, in the theory of kinetic molecular theory of gases of an ideal gas law. So we need to use the URM. Guys, memorize na lang niya, guys, ha? The square root of universal gas constant times the capital T over N. Ganon. Get the point? And then, this is 3RT. Okay, why I put 3? Because there's a relation between the kinetic energy later. Okay, so I will show you. But better memorize lang muna, because that is really a standard formula. You cannot fight for that. What I mean, you cannot contest and you cannot argue with that formula because that is standard already. Okay? Something like that. So memorize. Okay. URM is equal to the square root of 3 times the universal gas constant capital R times the capital T over the capital M, which is the molecular weight. But take note, take note, take note, take note. The molecular weight here is not in grams per mole. It is kilogram per mole. And then this is unique, right? Because in all of our computations and calculations a while ago, we always treat the molecular weight or the molar mass in terms of grams per mole. But in here, that's what I call special of this ideal gas, because the molecular weight here, the unit is kilogram per mole. And then you will ask also, so tell why? Okay, why? Because we have the unit of kilogram meter per second square in the Newton. And the unit there is kilogram. So you cannot cancel. Okay, if you will use grams. Okay, you get a point. Ganon siya. Okay. Now, let's substitute one by one. And you are eminent Velocity root mean square, or root mean square velocity. Oh, so there's a square root. Because the term itself says root mean square velocity. Ganon. That's why you are in. So the acronym itself, you can also predict the formula by itself. See? Velocity root mean square. So square root. Okay, ganon. So that you will, be, you will not be lost during your memorization of the formula. Okay, now we have to uh, substitute now for the data. And there's no data here. It looks like amazing, right? But we have constants. So don't be afraid. Okay, like that. Don't retreat. Don't surrender. If you see like problems like this in chemistry or something like that. So the square root of... Direct substitution, okay? So direct substitution, but through standards, okay? Three, okay? Times, okay? R, kung saan na itong R na ganito na hindi dayo na? Okay, mag-ibog na ka. Because we have a 0.0805 liter atmosphere mole Kelvin. But take note, take note, take note, take note. Liter atmosphere doesn't have a commonality of the energy unit. Complication. Okay? There's two units involved. Okay? So this is, that's what I call it, this is special. Okay? So take note, liter and atmosphere. Do you deal with atmosphere, but liter, something wrong, because there's no volume here. You get the point? So we don't need to use this 0 0.08 5 liter atmosphere molecule. Then instead, we will use the other one that I told you over and over again. Okay, the partner of this, which is the 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin because it's very simplified. The numerator is only one unit, that is the joule. You get the point? And the definition of joule is always the force being applied multiplied by the distance covered so meaning to say newton meter and then investigate one by one what is the definition of newton okay kilogram meter per second square that's why it connects to our molecular weight we will use kilogram per mole because if you will use grams per mole it will never match okay 
to your units being used. And that is the main purpose behind. Okay, going back to our formula. Okay, substitute the 8.34, not the 0 0.025. Ganun ganun, chuba chucho. Okay, so A, 0.314 joules, mole, kilven. Okay, like that. And then our kilven here, STP is 273.15 kilven. So, 273.15 kilven. Ganon. And then, over the molecular weight of ammonia. Since ammonia, based on my memorization, that is 17.24 something, right? So, this 17.24 something, change this in kilogram per mole. So, how can we can drop that? So, we have 17.24 okay, grams per mole. Convert that to so 1,000 grams is equals to 1 kilogram. Cancel so chuba chu chu. So, we need to say 17.24. Move three zeros to the left. Because it's only zero something chuba chu chu. If there are a lot of zeros, this is very, very easy without using the calculator. You will only move to the left. Something like that, okay? The rule in algebra math. Okay, so one, two, three. And then, da -da -da -da. Ganon. So zero point zero one seven two four. So zero point zero one seven two four kilogram per mole. Ganon. Okay, so consider the Kelvin at the numerator. So chunk, chunk, the mole, chunk, chunk. Ganon. I'm gonna have in joules per kilogram. And now, since we are after of the velocity, and why there's joules per kilogram? Is this joules is a velocity? Yes, we know that, but we need to break that so that we can produce a velocity unit as the result after the computation. Okay. So, ato na erase mga palangga ng atong previous solution and then we need to write once more here. Okay. So, let's break first. Let's prove it why it will become a velocity unit. Okay. So, we have the joules. Okay. Investigate and scrutinize one by one. Ganon. So, joules per kilogram. Okay. Conversion. Okay. One joule is equal to one newton meter. Okay. Take a look. Okay. And then, one newton is equal to one kilogram meter per second squared. Right? Ganon. So, you will be able to cancel the newton. Cancel newton. Cancel newton. Cancel joules, cancel joules. So what we're left here? Okay, cancel kilogram, cancel kilogram. So what we're left here is meter squared. Okay, meter squared second. You get the point? Something like that. Meter squared second. Okay, meter squared. No, it's not second squared pa siya because Newton is, sorry, kilogram meter per second squared. Okay, you're not. So you have a unit of meter squared. Squared, second squared as your final result of your URM. Okay, but take note, URM is the square root. The square root of meter squared and second squared is meter per second. So you have now a unit of velocity, which is the meter per second. Now, after having to square up this whole quantity. Okay, so don't be afraid if your units is not automatic in your eyes looking that it's not a meter per second. Yeah, you have to break down one by one. By one. Okay, so that's why you will play attentive when your instructor discuss this topic because it's in this topic that you need to be, you know, you have to be alert. What's the, you know, the, the, the same value or units for that. For example, one calorie is equal to 4,000 joules. One joule, newton per meter, then newton meter, then ganon. Okay, erg, then centimeter. So you should be, uh, you know, equal this one. Uh, quick in memorizing basic uh, constant and concepts. Something like that. Okay, now. 3 times 8.34 times 273 divided by 0. Pilang ang mutong answer yung hindi kayo na. Okay, ganon. Well, so, muna na siya. Okay, so 3, so 3 times 8.314 times 273.15 is equal to divided by 0 0.01724. So your answer will be, uh, taas tayo siya, but you have to square root this, right? Square root, okay? Of course, because this is square root mga palangka, okay? Square up. Mm. 
628.6. So 628.6 meter per second. Oh, this is our velocity of ammonia traveling in the pipeline of STP. Okay, meter per second. So this is our answer now. Okay, for our question number one. Take note guys ha, this is root mean square velocity. Ayaw mo paabot na dimension sa dito ang root mean square velocity in a problem. It's not like that. It's not literal. You get the point? Even the velocity only is mentioned, you will use the root mean square velocity. There's no such like that in the problem that states very literal. So calculate the root mean square velocity. No, it's not like that. Okay, as long as it is velocity and the concepts will match at STP and at reality of the gas, then bingo, you can use this URMS velocity formula. Root mean square velocity. It paabot nga mga words for word, word for word na letter, letter. Okay? Like that's not like that in understanding. Okay. Now we have six point eight three point six meter per second. Na atong si ni papas na mo atong sa number two. Then on. Okay. Six to eight point six meter per second. Right. Okay. Mo na atong velocity. Let's check further our comprehension if it will be connected to question number two. Right? So, 6 to 8.6 ang velocity answer. Here, 6 to 8.6 meter per second. Now, calculate the kinetic energy of ammonia based on 1. So, actually, ang answer ni mo, pwede mo gamito. Your answer number 1 should be utilized in number 2. But let's check. Okay? So, here also, the formula is so special. Meaning special. <laughs> Meaning to say, already derived. No need to use the conversion and dimensional analysis way of solving. Standard na siya nga formula talaga. Di ka magwak buhat ba? You get the point? You should not create your own, but it's already there. Okay? Lahi mo to mag-derive ka. Okay? So, this is really a standard formula. Okay? So, your kinetic energy and kinetic molecular theory of gases of ideality of an air or gas will be equal to kinetic energy that ganon, 3 halves RT. Okay? Mole siya ang standard formula of kinetic energy in terms of ideal gas. Okay? Because there's also kinetic energy in physics. Okay? Kinetic energy in physics, mv squared over 2. Right? mv squared over 2 or 1 half times the mass times the velocity raised to the power 2, which is used all the time in the momentum theory, right? Okay? Momentum theory and the Bernoulli theory equation. Like that in the... Uh, fluid mechanics or fluid flow, something like that. Na ingon ka nga mga unimita po sa Bernoulli, na yung mga pandito. If you touch that, you will use this, that kind of kinetic energy. But in which this is, that is not applied here. You get the point? So that's why I told you special. Okay, kinetic energy is equal to 3 halves R. Take note, it is not kinetic energy 1 half mv squared. Right? It is not like this. Actually, you can use this also because the ammonia has its own mass. Okay? Yes, you can use this because the ammonia has the molecular weight and through that you can compute the mass. You get the point? Like that. And then there's no given mass directly. It's okay because you have the molecular weight. Something like that. You get the point? But this is not applicable. Ayun yung pugsa. Okay? So, the kinetic energy is equals to 3 halves RT. Now, compute. You have now the velocity, 6 to 8.6 in 1. Okay? Ganon. So, yung muna nang gamitin niya rin yung na. Okay? But calculate first the kinetic energy. So, 3 halves times in the universal gas constant, 8.314 times 273.15. Oh, di ba? So, nanakay kinetic energy. Muna niyo kinetic energy, guys. Nanakay value. Okay. So, in this situation also, you need the velocity. So, that's the time you will connect this original formula pala. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Magamit gyapon siya, but you have to connect. Okay, sorry talaga guys, because I don't prepare. Okay, I am, I am fan of on-the-spot vlogging. You know, I don't prepare what to explain. I don't prepare what is the answer. And I don't solve ahead of time. I really solve on actual. 
really, please understand the things like this also, right? <laughs> okay, so I was shocked because, oh, because there's the velocity involved already. So we need to do, to break the kinetic energy, of course, I have no choice. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, like that. So things like this, if you really understand, it's easy to correct immediately, right? What you are doing. Okay, like that. So, uh, Joe, small, Kelvin, then Kelvin, Chuba, Chu, Chu. And then Joe's Muslim cancel na siya na hindi na. Okay, but uh, let's try to be uh, precise. Let's carry the units na para dita mayabu. Okay? Okay, mas muna ito para dita mayabu. Samo ka itong mga pagsuwa. Okay? Atong i-incorporate ang unit. Okay, incorporate. Okay, ganun. Kinetic energy uh, is equal to 3 halves over RT. Okay, but it's very obvious that we have the velocity and we cannot insert this velocity if you will not break up the kinetic energy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we get the point. Well, something like this. Okay, <laughs> Okay, then kinetic energy is equals to one half mass times the velocity. Ganon, ganon si chuba chu chu, right? Ganon. And then squared is equals to three halves. RP. Oh, ganon. So, substitute the values na talaga siya. So, mass. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then times the velocity, 6 to 8.6. We see the power 2 is equals to 3 halves times R, uh, 8.34. Okay. Tanawad siya pagayo ang mga kung guys ha, ang mga unit chuba chucho. Okay, Kelvin times Kelvin times the times of Chuba Chucho. And then we have here uh, meter squared. Okay, meter squared. So this is going to be uh, meter squared set times squared Chuba Chucho. And then this mass is grams. So you will say like this, uh, grams times meter squared. Diba? Kaya kami squared. So meter squared and equal to units time, units conversion. So, joules, small, ganon, chuba, chu, chu. Okay, ganon. Get the point. Okay, ganon. And then, makancel niya siya somewhere along the way, kaya naman molecular weight. Okay? Na magamit ato very ari. Okay? Ganon. So, let's do the math. Okay? Math. Pero guys, ako yung duman guys, balik na ito ang question. Okay. Calculate. Ah, okay. Kinetic energy lang pala siya. Ang akong utok. Ni, di pa di subject ako. Ang what is being asked is kinetic energy lang pala. So, hindi na na nato i-break. Jitsu na siya. Okay, things like this. If I told you, this is my weakness also sometimes. When I took up the word examination, even though it's not really that difficult that much, I treat that as a complicated one as well. Okay? Maybe. Or maybe lang ha. Okay. So, maybe sure. <laughs> so, kinetic energy. Jitsu na siya. Uy! So, three halves times 8.314 times 273.15 Bingo! Muna na siya yung answer. Muna na yung kinetic energy. Hindi na may ipangita, guys. Okay? Daog na. Muna na siya. No need to, ano, to elaborate further. Okay? So, we, you have this one. You compute na mo. Muna yung answer. So, ito yung compute. Okay? So, okay. 3 divided by 2. Ganda ng chuba 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 times 8.3145 times 273.15 Ganon! So that is 3406.6 kinetic energy Okay, ganon! Muna na siya, 346 Okay? Let's compare also May pasok sa kong brain cells Okay, pasok sa brain cells Na ako yung nahulang ng lain Char! Okay, 3406 Muna na siya This is joules na Okay? Joules Energy. Okay, joules na itong gamit. Joules, small, okay, yung involved talaga. Muna yung itong joules. Sali siya guys ha. Okay, now. Muna siyang kinetic energy. Sa so standard. Now, if that is the case, muna itong magamit ang velocity. Is that the point? So, I must use also the velocity. Though this is already the kinetic energy, but what's the purpose of ammonia there? Is that the point? Things like this also ha. Okay, because in this, we are not using the ammonia yet. So what for? Get the point. Okay, so break down the kinetic energy. Use this 3406. Now, I'm going to count brain cells. So, 3406 times uh, ano, ano, is equals to 1 half m times velocity of 628.6 over 2. So, we have mass already. Okay, ganon. Ano kay mass? 
Mm. Three guys go. Laban lang. <laughs> so, two is where pabayan na siya. 628.6. Taas kayo siya, guys. Ato na lang yung gym nyo. Nakuha na to kayo. Because my whiteboard is very small. Really, kaloka. I hate this board. Gamay na kaayot. Takasul po tayo. Uy. Diba? I need a wider board para ma-express na akong thoughts na match. So, understood nila lang siya. The square root mo ang 628.6 meter per second. Times mass. Times one half. Is equal to 3,000 per kinetic energy. Okay. Then, makuha niyo mo ang mass. Ana. Okay, ganon. So, na kay mass. Ito na. Ganon. Ano na kay mass. Diba, guys? So, kung ano na kay mass, mukumpit na po ka balit sa kinetic energy. Okay? U, R, M, S. Okay? Then, I have the square root of 3R, T over N. Ganon. So, isang siya ito sabihin niyo, balit ang N, dari, alin, higay yun lang, nasa kay velocity. Makuha na po na niyo siya balit ang velocity, balit ka sa kinetic energy, na is equals to 3 halves R, T. O. This time, nagamit na niyo ang values from ammonia. You get the point? Eh, ganina mga board, a while ago, we don't use the ammonia yet, always the standard, and we are not sure what kind of gas is that we are referring. You get the point? So, what's the use of ammonia here? Something like that, di ba? Common sense. Okay? Mga na siya yung matabo, parang higal yun na. Or, you can use another way around, ha? Katong PV and RT. Sa last na niya. Okay. PV and RT. Ganun, ganun, chuba, chuchu. Okay? Like that. Okay, by using the ano the pressure, the n, the r, we can you can compute also for the volume, gan ganon. Okay, so and then connect that also with another formula, and then masulod yun di mo tanan. So yun naman yung formula, guys. Okay, get the point. Hinayon na nato kami sa paghibo. Okay, get the point. Mas sa tayo guys, ang tirada dere ay nito yun na mas na nato kaya bilang sa tika mo kaya daong na dayon. Okay. You get the point? Oh, mula siya. Kaya naman kayo kinetic energy. Okay? Kaya naman kayo kayo sa kinetic energy. And then, one half and this way. Naman kayo bilis mo. Kaya naman ang mass. Kaya naman kayo dito sa iyang formula nga na i-involve ang mass. Kaya naman ito yung molecular weight dito. You get the point? Yung molecular weight. Kung ano, ang formula sa molecular weight, no, anak nga na siya. Molar mass is equals to mass over the number of moles. Makuha din mo kayo mass. Anak nga din mo siya. Mass equals to number of moles and the molecular weight. O, ganon. O, so, na, makuha na namin mo. Kaya ang ideal gas mga sad guys, ang standard sa ideal gas in terms of mole, one mole po na siya ha. Okay? So yung akong punaan, okay, ano na siya. Okay? Wala na kung ikaw ng answer guys. Okay, hindi masun sa akong whiteboard. Gamit yung whiteboard guys. Okay? Kaloka, I hate this. Charot! Okay? So may ganitag STP, ano na siya ha. So may ganitag say, talaga, no. 0 degree Celsius ang atmosphere or 273.15. O, oh, ganon. Till then. Ang pressure, 1 atmosphere. Unya, ang mole, 1. 1 mole of an ideal gas. Or of an ideal ammonia. Or any ideal gas na dimension to sa problem. Okay, okay this will not involve re chemical reaction, man. Because kung saan namin... Only one is given to the problem. Common sense, mga guys. O sa rin gagawin sa problem. For example, nitrogen, ammonia, like this, argon, or neon, something that behave as an ideal gas, or nitrogen, gano'n, whatever. Nitrogen gas. So, don't make a chemical reaction. Okay? Because that's already one ang given sa problem. Ano yung ganitun? One mole per me. Unless, di-specify dito na, one mole of cryptool, yun ba nun? If, or three moles of cryptool, but if there's no mention, automatic use the one mole. Sa mga ito ganina, di ba? Huwag ko lang gamitin, ano niya yung gamitin? Dito sa PDNRT. Okay? So in this case, makuha rin ito ang volume chuba chuchu. Okay, na may standard sa pressure, as in the standard na normality niya. Nakuha naman ito na ito ang kuan, mass dito at ito. O di ba, ana-ana ka siya, balitok-balitok. Okay? Gito. Sorry for guys. Okay. Ano na siya? Marang tukta ba na guys? Isa yun naman guys. Uy. Okay. You get the point? Okay. Pasensya na talaga yun. Gamay na kayo kong board guys. Uy. Di ba? Tanawal mo na kong board. Gamay na kaayon. Okay. So I want to explain further and compute na pinadetailed. I cannot make it because I have a limited whiteboard. You get the point? 
Muni may tabu. Pero klaro naman kaya kung formula ni Hata, di ba? Ako, naguna ko ang velocity. So, what for? Di ba? So, it looks like elementary math. Okay? Very substitutional talaga siya. Okay, guys? You get the point? If you like this video, may tapol ko. Lang akong i-break down. Pero ang concept, akong i-introduce. You can comment, like, share, and you can subscribe also my YT channel. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless! Ganon. Di ba?